For me, I had a mix of, um, you know, having the phone interviews and the, um, and well, the t- technical phone of- interviews and the HR people calling as my first round. Um, and it was really stressful because most of my phone calls happened during finals weeks. Oh, uh, I hated that. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. I remember so, that. You were stressed. Like, <laughs> I remember running from one final to go to a testing center to do a test for an interview to then coming back to campus to uh, complete another final in the same day. Um, and which, it was that, and your, and that potential job was not local. They just sent you to like a local test center. Yeah. So, um, nice. just one of those local test centers where they have, they can sign in, watch you take the test and all that they stuff. Certs uh, and stuff there too, probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was, that made it really stressful. Um, and I had another one call me, um, to set up a in-person interview while I was like in the library, like in the book studying and they're like, uh, can you come in like on Thursday? I'm like, I have a final on Thursday and you're not like local. And um, graduation is this Saturday. Um, and so like we legit had to change it out. And I think I went like the very next week after graduation to go in for my interview, which um, that interview went like most of my other in-person interviews where it was um it's like a marathon of technical people coming into a room, just like those, those Fortune uh, 500 ones. Like those yeah. were, yeah, it was like round after round. Yeah, yeah. And so like it starts off with the HR person, you know, they kind of butter you up and all this stuff, and then it's like, okay, we're gonna have like a couple people come through, um, and then like I had a Java developer come into a room with me, and then right after that, it's like the C plus plus developer, then it's the person who's like in the middle to. Uh, make sure that the Java and the C++ come together and things like that. So it was really stressful in that sense. Um, And then there's a lot of studying into, you know, um, what types of, you know, looking at what types of interview uh, technical questions you could get um, and just trying to prepare for those types of settings and things. So, yeah. Speaking of that, have y'all ever had a... uh had this happen to you where they asked you a question and you go back later and you found out they Googled the whole, the whole interview was Googled like yeah. every question. <laughs> yeah. So like that, like there's only a certain amount of like, it seems like there's a thousand different like questions that they can ask you. And there is, but like if you sh- group them into categories you and can much figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Have like some sort of foundation there. You can at least discuss it and then, explain to them where you're uh where you're kind of like falling short because you're gonna you 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 know if you're guessing or not and that's like yeah. don't guess just tell right. them like yeah don't know that, that is my number one thing like never be that person in the room that's just like just trying to bs your way through it like yeah you know i remember that uh that's that uh you don't want to be that person for sure uh, and so there have been plenty of times where i'm in the room and like I'm on a roll and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm in the zone and all these things. And then they ask me a question. I'm just like, wait a minute. I remember hearing about this, but I can't remember the specifics. And they actually appreciate the fact that you take the time to let them know because saying that you know everything about everything, you know, there are some people who are like the super duper, you know, I want to make sure I know everything about everything, but there's also a um, a finite limit on, well, a infinite limit on fi- finite, infinite, whatever, uh, on how much you can retain in a given time frame. For because, sure. Because especially when you're a student, because of the fact that, like I said, I was during finals week, so I'm thinking about all the different things that I have to do while also trying to remember, you know, what we're talking about here, while also trying to remember, you know, what I learned in class X like two years ago. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot going on at that time. So just making sure that you're honest because why not? Yeah. The in school stress is definitely real because. 